Uh, we've got some breaking political news tonight. You have not heard this anywhere else. This is exclusive to us. But we have just got our hands on some brand new national polling from Public Policy Polling, the group everybody just calls PPP. Uh, this is just being released for the first time right this second. And I have to assure you, not only is this national polling new, I have to also assure you, and you'll, you'll understand why in just a second, but I have to also assure you that it's real. This is not an elaborate joke, like a big misdirection story I'm telling at the top of the A block and it turns out to be an April Fool or whatever. This is real. I am not making this up to entertain you, even though I am sometimes tempted to do things like that. This is real. Okay. New national polling from PPP finds that by a considerable margin, the Republican Party's presumptive nominee for president, Donald Trump, is less popular than lice. Question 23 from the poll, and I quote, what do you have a higher opinion of, Donald Trump or lice? The proportion of Americans who say they have a higher opinion of Donald Trump is 28%. The proportion of Americans who say they have a higher opinion of lice when compared to Donald Trump, uh, 54%. So Donald Trump is losing to lice by 26 points. And turns out it's not just lice giving Donald Trump a run for his money. Not to nitpick, <laughs> but uh, this new national polling also finds that Mr. Trump is viewed less favorably than not just lice, but also traffic jams, used car salesmen, hipsters, the DMV, jury duty, the band Nickelback, and also root canals. Now, I should, to be fair, Mr. Trump does it only, he only loses by single digits to some of these. I mean, he's running pretty close to Nickelback and used car salesmen and hipsters. But overall, I mean, this is a list of things you obviously do not really want to be losing to. Now, that said, there is also a little sunshine uh, for Mr. Trump in this new national poll, which we've exclusively got tonight. Uh, and the good news for him is that he does beat both cockroaches and hemorrhoids. Uh, it's narrow, but a win is a win. Donald Trump is held in higher esteem than hemorrhoids, uh, by a margin of six points, and he's held in higher esteem than cockroaches by a margin of four points. That's the good news. Now, there is bad news about this good news, <laughs> which is that if you just ask women voters, turns out his win over both cockroaches and hemorrhoids, uh, the wins go away. Women voters nationwide actually prefer both cockroaches and hemorrhoids to Donald Trump. It's weird. It turns out there's a real gender split on those particular issues. Now, there, there are limits as to how far this kind of information gets you in an election year. I mean, bottom line, hemorrhoids are not going to be on the ballot in November. So we don't have to do complex gender-specific turnout modeling to figure out how this particular gender gap is going to play, to figure out if we are going to get hemorrhoids elected president in the fall. But, <laughs> I'm sorry, but... This new national polling, I'm sorry, I'm eight. I've always wanted to be more than eight years old. I stopped developing at that age. But uh, this new national polling, 